I remember being in my grandma's kitchen, tugging at her apron, asking for just a little taste of whatever she was cooking. Granny, may I lick the spoon? Is the cake done yet? Now it's my kitchen, my children and grandchildren, and even my husband tugging at my apron for just a little taste of whatever I'm cooking. Hello, I'm Coco. Now come on into my kitchen where every batch is made from scratch. Do that on the stand. Good evening, welcome, welcome to Cooking with Coco, where every batch is made from scratch. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I am so excited about what we're going to have for dinner tonight. I tell you, we are excited. I'm gonna open up with a word of prayer, if you don't mind. Please, close your eyes and bow your head. Dear God, we thank you for this day, God. Lord, we thank you for protecting us through this week, God. Lord, we thank you for another cooking opportunity, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy, God. Lord, I pray for the viewers, God. I ask you to bless them in a special way, God. Lord, you know what they stand in the need of, God. And for that, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Lord, we love you. We glorify you and we praise your name on today. Lord, thank you again for all that you're doing in my life, in my family's life, God. For that, Lord, we, we say thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. We're going to go on and get started. And what we have planned for this evening is a delicious honey garlic glazed chicken. Can you imagine what that's going to taste like? I mean, honey, garlic. Oh my goodness, just those flavors together are amazing. And so what I'm going to do, I did give you uh, some of the ingredients that we're using this evening. And so I hope that maybe some of you will be joining me and cooking on this evening. We're going to start with the honey garlic glazed chicken. And what that consists of is chicken, of course. I gave you some of the ingredients on what to season the chicken with I was telling you and guys I had so much trouble finding the seasoning that I really really needed I went to about three different stores and ironically I found it at Walmart so I'm glad and thankful for that I am using chicken thighs okay so I've already used my seasoning I have my Sazon seasoning I have my, oh gosh, my sofrito seasoning as well. Salt, pepper, and garlic. And so I've already seasoned my chicken. I have my hot skillet ready for the chicken. And the thing about this chicken, it's a bone in, skin on, and no flour. So I'm gonna place my chicken, already seasoned, in my skillet. Stand down first, okay? So we're gonna go and get started with that. All this has been seasoned to perfection. This is going to be an absolutely amazing meal. I'm excited, I've saved myself. I had just a little something to eat this evening. You see how this is frying up very nicely? I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. We want that to fry very nicely. And then we're going to go in and get started while this is frying. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. We're going to get started with our Parmesan roasted Brussels sprouts. Now listen, Brussels sprouts to me look like little baby cabbages, if you will. I've never really been fond of Brussels sprouts. My husband actually introduced me to these little fellas. Okay, so what I've done, I've washed them very well, and then I cut the little um, woody area off the end and then sliced them in half. And so what I'm going to do, I had a few in here that weren't cut, so I'm gonna just put those to the side. 
what this recipe asks for is a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm just gonna pour that in. It asks for salt and fresh ground pepper. I'm gonna mix that in really well. Now again, I said that we're gonna roast this. So this will be put in an oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. And guys, last night when I was giving the ingredients, let me apologize because I forgot to give one of the main ingredients. But this Brussels sprout, you need Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna use about a cup of Parmesan cheese. If you have it at home, I hope you do, and I apologize for that. It, it's also asked for garlic powder to taste. It asks for cayenne pepper. It's going to have a, just a slight kick, not too much, not too much. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my hands and mix all of those nice ingredients together. So we have our olive oil, we have our cayenne pepper, we have our garlic powder, salt and pepper. Just mixing that really nice. So that is nice and okay. You can see how this looks. Now then this asks for, let's turn this around a little bit. That's for a couple of eggs, beaten eggs. It asks for the panko breadcrumbs. So I've taken two eggs and beat them slightly. I have some flour here. Now, it asks for you to put some of your Brussels sprouts in your flour. Okay, just kind of mix that like so. Then you take it and dip it over in the egg white and then over into the panko breadcrumbs. Guys, this is really, really delicious. And it, it kind of reminds you of broccoli but a, a little crunch. I see that Rosemary is watching. I thank you, dear, for watching. Hello to you. I hope you've had a great week. Mine has been great. So I'm dipping it in the, in the egg wash and then into the brick crumbs, okay? Move along pretty fast here. And then in the egg wash, we have um, we have some company this evening, so I'm fixing more than usual. I got some greedy friends that came over. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love my friends. <laughs> Hi, Melinda. I see that you're watching. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope this is something that you could or will or consider fixing for your family. Really easy, very tasty. Oh my goodness. Y'all know how I am. This is going to be delightful. It's a little messy, but at the same time, it's worth all of this mess. It really is. And then I, what I have over here prepared, I have a cookie sheet uh, lined with some aluminum foil. And I've already sprayed it with um, some Pam. And I'm going to place this on there. I'm losing track guys, but it's all good. Now I'm placing the already 
nicely breaded a, a Brussels sprout on the pan. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to toss this with Parmesan cheese. And I need uh, someone to give me the, my Parmesan cheese from the refrigerator. I failed to get that out. Parmesan cheese. See what this is looking like, guys? Can you imagine what this is gonna taste like? Hi, Leah. I see that you're watching. You say you're hungry, huh? I'm making you hungry. I know. I know, right? <laughs> yes, you got to try this one for your family. This is a really, really good one here. Right. We have some delicious macaroni and cheese that we're gonna fix. Gonna show you just a little, little twist to this macaroni and cheese. Um, believe it or not, I saute onions with my macaroni and cheese. Okay, we have some desserts over here that I've prepared. They are homemade brownie bites um, with a Reese's Kiss in the center of it. Oh my goodness. And then you put a little scoop of ice cream on that and it is divine. And guys, I just want to um, remind you if you have not ordered your book, Cooking with Coco. You can go to my website, www.sandraakins.com and there, the link will take you right to where you can place that order, okay? Chicken is cooking over here. my mom though okay my mom is in the house I don't know she's not in the room with me this evening see this it can be messy but I promise you this is worth it it's worth all the mess I promise you it is again a little flour a little egg wash and then the panko breadcrumbs I'm going to sprinkle this with some Parmesan cheese. Guys, I wish you could taste it. It's pretty amazing. Okay, my chicken is doing well over here. I think I'm going to move on to my next dish so I can get this in the oven. Okay, just a minute. Step to the side for a second. I'm going to have Parmesan cheese in my hand. Cameraman, can I get you? Over here. Put the sprouts here. And then I'm going to take my Parmesan cheese and I'm just going to sprinkle generously over. You see that? Okay, now, again, I said I have it uh, my oven on 400 and 400 degrees and this needs to be in the oven for about 15 minutes okay so that's what that looks like we're going to get started with our sauce okay i'm just going to move some of this to the side i won't need this okay Clean up this a little bit. Y'all know your girl is a little OCD, but it's all good. It's all good. Okay, now over here, I have, we're gonna get started with our macaroni and cheese. And what I've done already, 
I've already cooked my macaroni. And so what I have here is three tablespoons of butter in my pan over here. I'm gonna add some onions. I see Bernice Hill is in the house. How are you doing? Shelly Calhoun, how are you? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Thank you. So what I've done over here, I have my four tablespoons of butter. I have a half a cup of onions, and now I'm sauteing all of that together. Okay? In the meanwhile, for my chicken, let me check and see how things are looking over here. Okay. You want it nice and crispy and brown. You see how that's looking? Nice and crispy. And remember I said um, start with the skin side down first. A little bit lower on that side. Hi, Sister Adams. I see that you're tuned in. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Guys, this is this is really amazing. The, the seasonings that this recipe calls for, um, just, oh my God, all of these flavors together, it is absolutely amazing. Okay, I'm over here with my onions. They are sauteing very nicely. I, I'm looking for that transparent, translucent look over here. Okay. This, this, this is the famous, I call this is my famous macaroni and cheese, okay? So we're just sauteing in those onions so they're nice and translucent. And then I'm going to add about a half a cup of half and half and remember I said if you can if you choose you can use whatever milk you like if you like whole milk use that half and half use what you like and then we want to start melting our cheeses again I have Velveeta I have about a half a um, block of the Velveeta let me get that in and get that to melting and then I have a mixture of cheddar cheese mozzarella I'm gonna put that in there this is about two cups actually now if you like more cheese in your um, macaroni and cheese then you add that Let me even get that melted. I see that Kim Crompton is watching. Thank you, Doris Royal, Marion York. How are you? Thank you so much for watching. Haley English, you're hungry, huh? Okay, all right. <laughs> but this is a good meal to fix for your family. Excellent meal to fix for your family. Now everybody knows how to fry chicken, so we're frying chicken. Just have some special um, ingredients, different um, spices that we've added to the chicken. I really want it nice and toasty, kind of. Kind of like that one, okay? Okay. Now my cheese is over here melting really nicely. And again, I've already melted, I'm sorry, already cooked my macaroni noodles. I want my cameraman to come over so that he can see this. I want you guys to see it. It's just becoming very creamy with those onions and the different cheeses. This is going to be 
delicious. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put pour over my macaroni noodles in this. I'm going to add um, some pepper. And of course, you know that cheese already has quite a bit of sodium. So I'll taste it to see my liking. And if it needs some more salt, then I will. I'll add it. See how nice and creamy that is? Nothing sticking. The butter and onions have melted very nicely. My Brussels sprouts are in the oven on 400. Okay. While that cheese is melting, there is a special sauce that you use to put on top of the chicken that makes it honey glaze. So, what the glaze asked for, and we're going to move on to that, and it asked for one cup of honey, one cup of honey, It asks for one cup of ketchup. Now this is what we're gonna put on the chicken after it has cooked. It asks for seven, wait a minute. Nope, not yet, not yet, okay. And then it asks for a fourth a cup of soy sauce. I won't put all of that in there because soy sauce is really salty. So I don't want, so I'm just gonna do like a fourth of the fourth, okay? Now we want all of this to come to a nice boil, like it's doing. Meanwhile, we're gonna get our cheese so it's not chicken, see that? All of that has melted very well. So I'm gonna turn the um, pie off of it. Everything has melted, okay? Now what I'm going to do, I've already cooked my macaroni noodles. So what I'm gonna do is just add as much as I want in. I love a really creamy macaroni and cheese. So I'm gonna just kinda eyeball that. You see how that's looking? Oh, guys, look at this. Now let me tell you something. Crystal Martin, my church member, my girl, that's my goddaughter. She told me from the cookbook this was gonna be one of the dishes that she was going to fix. So Crystal Martin, I hope that you're watching. You see how pretty and creamy this is? Oh my God. I'm getting weak, guys. <laughs> I'm getting weak. Now, um, what I'm gonna do is add just a little more milk to this. I want cream, I don't want stiff. And then it asks for paprika. Okay, now guys, let me tell you something. Paprika tastes like nothing. It, it tastes like nothing, but it makes things look pretty. <laughs> so that's why I'm adding it. You can't taste it, it's just pretty. See how creamy? You remember what we have in there? We have half and half, we have onions, we have butter. Look at this. You can't go wrong, guys. If you do it this way, I promise you, you will have the best macaroni cheese in the world. In the world. Look how pretty that is. Now, I've got to get a little fork so I can just kind of taste it a little bit. Oh my goodness, guys, this is the bomb. This is so delicious. You've got to try it and you've got to try it this way. Now, if you don't like it this way, it's okay. You will find your niche in the kitchen, but right now you're in Coco's kitchen, okay? And I'm just showing you a little trick, some of my favorites. Okay, now, it, it tastes fantastic. What I'm gonna do is add some fresh ground pepper. Now, a lot of people 
don't like the black pepper and they use white pepper. I don't have any on hand, so I'm gonna use the black pepper. But you see how pretty and creamy that is? What I'm gonna do, I've already sprayed my baking dish. So what I, I'm gonna just pour this over in my baking dish. Oh, look guys, creamy, oh my goodness. Creamy, buttery. And I'm gonna top it with just a little, just a little cheese. I'm gonna sprinkle the top with some paprika. Keith James is in the house. Shatara, hi girl, how are you? Hi Tracy Akins, that's my sister-in-law. Linda Paxton, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed this meal. I hope you enjoy it and I hope that you will try this. You won't go wrong, I promise. See how pretty this is? And guys, I did not use the flour. It's making its own crust. See how pretty? You still have a, while, a, a ways to go. We're gonna sprinkle just a little cheese, more cheese on top. I'm telling you, this is some of the best macaroni and cheese that you will ever want to put in your mouth. Your family will love it, you will love it. It's easy, it's creamy, it's easy breezy. Okay. And then, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little paprika on top. And it just makes it pretty. Again, no, it doesn't have a flavor, it doesn't have a taste, but it does bring flavor. It does, it brings flavor, okay? Now, I have my oven on 400. We're gonna put that in there. It won't have to stay in this oven long because it's already done. We just want the cheese to melt, okay? My honey sauce has come to a boil. This is what I'm going to put on top of the chicken when it's done. I will add some garlic and I will add the, the sauce I was telling you about that I had so much trouble finding, but I did find it. And it's called the so frito, so frito sauce, okay? So we have here our honey, our ketchup, oh my, our soy sauce. All of this will go on top of the chicken. Oh, okay. Why don't you take a look at the Brussels sprout? Look at that. See how pretty that's looking? Okay. Nice and toasty. I'm going to turn them off. I think they've been in here, what, about 15 minutes? Give or take. Okay. So I'm going to turn it off, but I'm going to leave them in there for another five. Okay. Chicken is coming along. You don't want to eat raw chicken, so we want our chicken nice and crispy, nice and done. Okay, we have a few pieces that this. Hi Natalie, I see that you're watching. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the show. How is your family? I hope everybody is well. Mmm, I'll eat that later. Oh my. Okay. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour, when this is almost ready, see this is how I want it nice and crispy. So we have a minute, okay? You guys be patient with me. You know how I feel about serving raw meat. We want that to cook up really nice.
Okay. So we have our macaroni and cheese in the oven. Our Brussels sprouts will be coming out in a minute. It's no longer on. Uh, I just have it just kind of toasting a little bit more. Okay. Ooh, wee. Guys, this is, this is one to put in your archive. You need to keep this one. Put this one in your recipe box. This is a good one. This is a good one. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate my viewers. I appreciate you guys ordering your book. I hope that you enjoy every recipe. I'm excited about this meal, guys. I really am. I really am. This is a good one here, okay? This is a good one. These are chicken thighs. Yes, they are. I prefer the chicken thighs. If you like a wing or a leg, then whatever your preference is, then that's what you use. So there's no rule here. And again, bone in, skin on. I did not add any flour to the chicken. I'm gonna go in and take the Brussels sprouts out. some of the Brussels sprouts on the platter. Guys, the, the Parmesan cheese has melted. Oh, so fine. So nice. I really could cook more of these because I, I have more, more guests than um, normal. And um, I just, just, you know, because of time. But you guys, I wanted you to see how this was prepared. And because lack of time, I don't have that time to fix all of the batches, okay? Hi, Uncle Benny, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're proud of your niece. That's my uncle in the house. He's watching. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Can you see those? Can you see that Parmesan Brussels sprout? Look how pretty that is. Presentation, guys. Thank you, Tiffany. I hope that it, I hope that it is good. I believe that it will be. Ooh. Y'all got to take a look at this macaroni and cheese, guys. It is. Mm, mm, mm. It's on fire. Let, 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 let. I got to get the cameraman over here, guys. It still got a few more minutes, but I tell you what. Look. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Look at that. Can you taste it through the camera? Look at that. Butter. Cheese. Half and half. Onions. Oh my goodness. A little paprika for color and a little flavor. Oh my God. Guys, come on now. Come on now. Yes. Yes. Just a few more minutes. We're going to be eating. We're going to plate this up and we're going to have a good time. We have our homemade chocolate chip bites that are ready for a scoop of ice cream. You kind of nook them in the uh, microwave just to get that 
melting softness of the cookie and then you put the ice cream on top. Oh my gosh. Look at this. You see how pretty and brown? The crust is browning. Now what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to take, oh, I can just use this. See how pretty that is, guys? And listen, this is what we're going to do tonight. What you do, and um, just for me experiencing the taste of these delicious Brussels sprouts, you take um, a dip, you use a dipping sauce. Now, I didn't make my dipping sauce, but this classic Caesar dressing is absolutely delicious with the Brussels sprouts. When I say delicious, that is exactly what I mean. Okay. It's coming along just fine, guys. What did you all have for dinner tonight? Let's chit chat a bit. What did you guys have? Oh, my mom is watching Dorothy Davis and Pops. They're watching the show. Good evening. And again, I want to introduced to a lot of you, <laughs> but maybe some of you may not have heard about my cookbook that just launched on last Saturday. It is available for purchase. You can go to my website, www.sandraakins, and that will link you to the Amazon where you can purchase. Okay, I think you will enjoy it. Again, this is my first edition. I have two more in store for you. I've gotten a lot of reviews on this particular one and people have kind of chimed in and they're telling me what they really want for the next book. And so we're thinking about a kill. How about that? So we're thinking about it. I will prayerfully pray about it because that would be something new for me. I don't, I don't know very much about the keto, but I sure will give my customers what they want. And so I will do the research, I'll do the homework, and so whatever's gonna keep both of us happy. How about that? So now, what I'm gonna do now, this has cooked for a good little while. So I'm gonna take some of this oil off of the chicken, and so I'm just gonna pour it. Okay, let me see. Okay, because we don't we don't need the oil after it's cooked. Okay. Hey, take a look at the macaroni, guys. Look how amazing, oh gosh. You all, I can hardly wait on this. Now, the last two or few ingredients for my chicken, I have my honey glaze heating up over here. Guys, this is just an amazing, amazing taste with this honey, the soy sauce, and the ketchup. Okay. We're gonna go in and take the macaroni out. It is ready. Look how pretty that is, guys. Now, just ask for the seven cloves of garlic. Remember that? Okay. Now, 
And then my sofrito, excuse me. I'm gonna put that in there. Oh my goodness, guys, the flavors, I'm telling you, they are absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna move my chicken around so that it gets all of those nice flavors in each piece of chicken. The aroma is absolutely amazing. If you miss any step, subscribe to my YouTube page and rewatch and cook along. Lakia Angie did it last week and she she sent me a picture of her dish and I tell you it looked just like cooking with cocoa and they said it was delicious so you see this I'm just mixing all the garlic and the burrito seasoning okay I don't know who's gonna get the first plate but I tell you what Look, 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 look. See, and once I take the oil off, then all, it just becomes a nice crust, okay? And some of my skin is falling off, but I tell you what, it will get eaten, I promise you that. Okay, now, let me show you this. This is the honey glaze. We're just gonna kinda let that, the bubbles kinda stop a little bit, okay? But I tell you guys, this is amazing. And then you just pour that on top of the chicken. Nothing to it but to do it. Bam! All right now. <laughs> I'm excited guys. Did you hear it in my tone? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me get my right spoon so I can dip like I need to dip. Okay, hold on one. I'll use this one. Oh, look. Look, guys. Look, 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 look. <laughs> I wish you guys could just taste this. I wish you could smell these amazing aromas that's going on in my kitchen. Oh, my goodness. But I tell you what, guys, I will be back next week with another amazing dish. I will do my commercial on Thursday to let you know what I will be cooking. If you want to cook along with me, you'll have your ingredients at home. And we can just do this thing together, okay? So again, I thank you so very much. For tuning in with Cooking with Coco, where every batch is made from scratch. I love each one of you. Thank you so much for supporting Cooking with Coco. Thank you for tuning in. And until we meet again, I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Oh, I really needed to plate it up. Did we need to plate one up first, sir? Okay, so we're just gonna eat, huh? All right. It is time to do what we do. Woo! The show is over. All right. Look at this.